What can you expect from the lads today, Keith? Would it be a sub subdued group that meets you? No, no, no. Uh, they will. They, they will be upbeat uh, because we're upbeat. Uh, the staff have had a, uh, the staff have had a meeting this morning at quarter to nine uh, about uh, again setting the mood. Um, but it, it, it's not. But it won't be flippant. Uh, as in, uh, not accepting defeat because yeah, there's an element of. Uh, Lots of pats on the back, lots of praise, but ultimately uh, we were successful uh, in our in our trade, which is winning games. So, but there's a realization there that uh, we did well, uh, and we pick up on the pluses and, uh, of that. And we create a, a very positive mood today, but with an understanding that we didn't fully do our job. As well as out on the pitch, will that be the same? I know Thursdays are used for a lot of analysis with the players, self-analysis. Will that be used in the same manner? Yeah, yeah, we're doing, we're watching it. We got an analysis of the game uh, today. Uh, Lee, Lee was in yesterday, clipping the games. Uh, all the relevant bits uh, of the game that we want to show the players. There's lots of positives that, that, that we want to reinforce, uh, and it's not just because of the, it's, it's a, an understanding of what we were trying to get the players to do that they did, uh, and the uh, the success that they got w within the game, within the, within the framework of the game. There was lots of success success stories. First and foremost, we didn't want uh, Shrewsbury to come here and play their brand of football, so we wanted to stop them from playing. And part of that, part and parcel of that was not letting a goalkeeper roll the ball out to their three centre backs uh, and then dictate the tempo and the play and the rotation of their midfield. And I think, uh, on uh, on a whole, I think they probably only rolled the ball out once. I can definitely remember uh, from uh, that's from a free kick, from a goal kick. I can't remember them rolling out. So that's plus, and that's all. The, the final points of the game that we worked on, uh, and then about, about filling holes, people being in the right areas at the right times, the, um, to to negate um, other movement patterns that we identified could cause us problems. And I think we played against a potent strike force uh, in Shrewsbury and nullified them, uh, not in its entirety, obviously, but uh, for, for a majority. Uh, so no, um, we, we were able to play our brand of football. Uh, that suited us in this particular game, and I think that's a, that's a massive positive. And Dan, a very visible lesson of what you've been saying all along: you've all got to prepare and be ready because anything can happen. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, uh, the change room is ready uh, because they know that there's uh, you know, there's, there's games to be played, there's minutes to be had for for everybody that's in that change room down there. That is, is going to play a part potentially. Um, how much of a part they play is a lot it can be in their ball, in the, in their court as well. It's not just about me picking them. They, they've got to show me through the week that they're ready. Uh, and being in here with a salty face um, doesn't get my attention. Going out there, and I think probably a pat on the back there for Danny Kearns. I think Danny, you have a look at performance level of Danny Kearns when he came on. You can see a hunger in his game, uh, and I like that. Uh, when you get sub subs uh, coming off the bench uh, with a point to prove, fantastic. And Luton, one of those tight grounds, is it one of those toe-to-toe -to -toe encounters again? I think uh, I think it'd be a good atmosphere. Uh, I expect us to take a very vocal support, uh, and uh, I'm demanding from the players that we back up that support with, with uh, a level of performance that, that was there on Tuesday night.